Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This is going to be once again Skazi and Acid versus Yorga, and now Lightman. And Acid's with Skazi now, and Yorga's with Lightman. And I really should be updating the stream stuff more often, but yeah. The title is unfortunately not being updated as it should be. But yeah, we're on Desert Plateau, which is. or Plateaus, plural, I believe. Which is a map we have not seen ever before. I didn't even know it existed, but it's a cool looking map, so let's go over it. Yeah, it looks pretty cool to me. It's uh, it's very interesting. The... It's got a lot of choke points. Right? Choke points over to the north. Nice open space in the middle, but choke points over to the north. Good terrain height variation going on. And uh, all the metal spots we'll are threes, however, or two and a halfs, which might be excessive. Yeah, on the other hand, there are no uh, groups of three to start with, so you get less metal at the start. That's true. More spread out. Um, and also something to point out uh, with radar maps like these, that uh, if you put them on the low well. ground, you really cannot see behind yeah, the hills. And even if ground. you put them up, you get these large uh, blind spots. So this is probably a good map for my idea of go off to the corner or try to take yeah. off the entire side initially. I should. I really recommend and... playing or having a look at Brazilian Battlefield. Okay, it's well, a prettier version of this, but with trees, which oh. for Zero K might not work. Maybe you can do a game sometime on that map. That would be cool. Anyway, so Acid going for Cloakybot Factory. Skazi going for Jump Jet Factory. Yurga going for Hovercraft again. And Lightman is going for Cloakybot. I think with no air. Seriously? It's pretty hilly Yeah, map. mazes uh, are good. Yeah, I realize mazes are good, but this is rather a hilly map. They're going to have a lot of issues with maneuvering. Especially uh, the scrubbers. I think that the, the, the routes you can take are pretty flat. And there are no important maxes or strategic positions on hills, so you can get away with not taking bots. That's true. None of the plateaus have maxes on them, but they it's still it's more a matter of maneuverability, because it's gonna slow down from time to time as it goes up and down the slight inclines. Yeah, there is oh if you tilt the camera a bit, I'm not not watching a stream, there is yeah. actually a large um a uh, ridge or a hill in the center? Yes, it's there is. The center of the map mo uh, moves up. And that's where I'm thinking that's going to be a little bit difficult for the hovercraft to get through. Because if you look in the pathing view, you can see there's a bunch of little red bits where they're going to slow down. That is not going to do many favors, especially near the very north side of the map, where the ridge is most prominent. And also, I guess, the south side. Yeah. Well, as anyway. usual, we see a lot of uh, raiders. We do, we but Lightman pyro. coming with a bunch of glaives, and the Pyro is going to jump onto the plateau in time, too. Oh, Barely that's survived. evil. Yeah, that is pretty evil. But still, though, it's not actually got a lot of flexibility. Can you even go... Okay, it can walk directly down, and it's back into the glaive line, jumping back up again, but unfortunately over to the other side of the hill, so it's not as able <laughs> to retreat. And the glaives go up the hill to be equally evil. However, the Glaze can't quite pull it off as well and die in the process. Worth the shot, but still actually able to get rid of Lightman's, sorry, Ass's entire force. Lightman loses his force as well, but Ass's Glaze go down. Skazi's Pyro is still alive, and the one that was heavily damaged goes back to base. Survives the encounter, but now Mace we have the first coming mace. in. Um, we have that's the first a mace. Integrated mech uh, commander. Where's some great commanders? Oh, yes, we have Asset upgrading. He's, not, he's still upgrading, so he's weak for the moment. I he think is. if he jumps with his own commander and that mace together, he could kill him. However, Yurga is not playing a jumpy con. Not playing recon con. Who is playing? Excuse me. I said just... Uh, yeah, if he has a uh, machine gun and power ser servos. Two maces. Woo! That's scary, scary, yeah, two scary. Two maces coming in against machine gun speed. That's going to be tricky. I think it's going to run away in time. And getting to level he, two. Acid, more a, commander to level two. Those maces can just guide the commander because they have more range. They do, but the commander is faster. However, Lightman not taking any damage from the Pyro, because the no, Pyro cannot No, Maces are well. definitely faster, by the way, but go on. <laughs> they are? One sec. Let's see. 2, two one, five. 1, 5. Oh, yeah. 1, 5 to 2, 1, 2. Never mind. Even with the, even with the speed boost, it's not enough. The Mace catches up with the Commander, but retreats a bit. It is on fire, and being on fire is very mildly annoying. The useless <laughs> tip of the day, try to avoid oh, being on fire. Help, uh, it is a slight pain uh, in the butt. Maces. <laughs> and everything else. Come on, save the mace. Uh, it was Pyro moving uphill, that's why it's... Uh, Pyro, yeah, Pyro started a new unit. Okay, with... Acid coming in with Lightman, we do have... Well, Acid's gonna win this engagement. Rocco can just get rid of 
where, and if the Rocco doesn't, the Moderator certainly will. Pyro is coming on the side. The Warrior is the best choice to deal with the Pyro, but oh, the Rocco would be a very good secondary choice. However, the Glaze oh, are able to catch pyro. up. Oh, uh, That's not going to work. Glaze are actually fairly powerful against Pyros, I've found. Surprisingly so. And also against Moderators, because the Moderators do not have a good reload time. And the Glaive is about to kill the Moderator. It does! It managed to get rid of the Moderator. Another Moderator coming up behind it, but at the same time, Glaive's coming along the southwest to take care of everything with Yurga's commander in tow. And it looks like Yurga and Lightman are going to be fighting over the south side of the map. Acid, sorry, Acid is taking it. Acid and Yurga. Acid is starting to take it economically. Yurga taking the southwest, sorry, southeast side of the map. The center is still contentious. You're going to move back and on the north side. We do have Skies' commander taking some damage, taking quite a lot of damage. In fact, it's about to go down to this warrior here. The second warrior is in the back. Skies' commander not upgraded at all. Moving back, but it's not going to be able to do it in time. That warrior will finish it off. And down it goes. Killing, no, not even killing the warrior, damaging the warrior, but the warrior survives that to continue harassing. And the north side has been taken for Lightman. Oh, they should really take care of those warriors in the north now. They really should, but there are folks in the south. The south has everything. I mean, Looks like the SHUK is not really uh, paying attention to that part of the map. No, he's trying to counter raid instead. He does have. No, he it's can't not get the okay, but not well enough. And that. Uh, oh, uh, White Man is doing a great right amount of damage here. Yeah, Acid's going to have to be pretty pretty clever in trying that's to defend good. his base, but that's not, he has nothing to do it with. Three warriors is more than. Four warriors? That's more than enough to deal with this. Pyro's trying to do what they can, but the Pyro's are basically countered by warriors. Definitely for cost. Good use of jump might do the trick, but still. One of the warriors is going to go down. The Glaives taking a bit of damage, but none of them yet going down. One of them burns to death. Okay, the rest of the Glaives do go down, but even with that, the warriors are still alive. There's still four warriors coming in. Three warriors. My mistake. One of them just died. And... Oh, wow, that's... Oh, he's safe for now. Um, he put yeah. uh, down a couple of LTs. He did. That will help, but even two LLTs, it's not going to be enough against four warriors. Like two warriors he still has the Pyros and his commander. That's... Oh, no, not this one. I mean, no, uh, like just out of position. the Pyros. The Pyros are here, but they're... No, they're if they some flank, that will work. But they're not flanking. At the same time, a better thing to point out, Skazi and Acid UK have a combined income of 13. Yorga and Lightman, on the other hand, 54. <laughs> a little bit of a discrepancy <laughs> That's how you there. That's just a minor discrepancy, and it looks like they are... Wait, did Yurga just help Acid? I think Yurga just accidentally helped Acid build an Emily Striker. Oh not yeah, that happens it. when you uh, both of them built the order on the same max. <laughs> yep. So a bit of jolly cooperation, but not what you want. Not what you want when you're when it's your opponent's Metal Extractor. Cooperation that really does not help you. Now, can't reclaim yet, but yeah, this is set up. <laughs> okay, how many scrubbers is this anyway? Okay, about 18 scrubbers going to the southwest. That's going to finish it off. I think... Yeah, Lightman is... That is actually doing pretty well with the Warriors here. Point out, Yurga, I mean, we have seen Yurga. He is an awesome 2v2 player. But Lightman is holding He's... his own. Skazi and Acid are doing a decent job, but they, have, they got pushed back too quickly early on. I mean, the Pyros... They would... It's hard to work too with. far out with the commanders. They did, especially with Pyros. It's just... Pyros are not the best raider. Now, they do a great job dealing with raiders, and they do a decent job if they're undefended against, but... Like, one or two is a, is a massive raiding force. Like, one Pyro is like let, three glades. Let's have a look at, uh, at Asset, what, he, what he's doing. He has a super plan up his sleeve. <laughs> well, he got a morph commander, didn't he? Anyway. cunning plan. Speed, machine guns, a bit of armor. And warriors. Warriors to counter the warriors, but Lightman's commander up front as well. And it looks like it's well actually gonna do a decent job against this mace. However, even with that, the mace is not doesn't much matter, the mace is going down. Scrubbers are going down, nice. but not before commander goes you no, know, as his commander might just live. It's it's close though. He does have the machine gun to deal with this and is he gonna be able to finish it off? No, he's not! He is not targeting that one scrubber! It's Close, but he lives. Asset's commander still alive. I'm not sure what super plan Asset could possibly have, though. He does have a decent economy. And the attack in the north gets uh, repelled again. I didn't expect that to happen. Yeah, Lightman actually getting pushed back, surprisingly enough. 
not able to That's... get into Skazi's base. Not fully anyway, but still, getting rid of more radar. In fact, how much? At this point, Skazi and Acid are going entirely off line of sight. They have no idea what Jurgen Lightman are up to. Jurgen Lightman, on the other hand, they know everything but Skazi's base. That's the only thing they are in the dark about, and it looks Three like. Three time. Yeah, that is game. Skazi wants to resign. Not sure about Acid, but we'll see. I think. Well, he's continuing to morph his commander. Might not be the best choice, but it's something at least, I guess. With a strike com, I don't know. I don't really agree with that for strike com. And Ink of the Mazes doesn't matter though. Everything's done. Everything's dead. Scuzzy and Acid throw in the towel. Nice game. That was the game. That was a good rematch. That was a really nice map to see it on too. I, I want to see that map in one v ones. I want to see it more often. That's this is a cool map. It looks uh, promising. Yes. So good to see that the tagging system was fixed to make this pop up. Anyway, I'm not sure what's going to happen for further games. I'm going to have any more games today. But, because I have been casting for nearly two hours now. Oh, yeah, pointing out Lightman is Game Innovators. Guy who I've actually ah. mentioned before in forum posts. Yeah, he also does 0k casts. He has quite a lot of videos. I've seen uh, some of them on YouTube. He yes. has like 54 uh, 0k videos now. Just uh, regular Let's Plays. Yeah, basically first-person videos. So he's a cool guy to check out as well. It's Game Innovator on YouTube. But it looks like we are going to have another game? Maybe. I don't know. Well, Skies is going away, so we'll just stop for now. And if we do have another game, that will be great. But I think I think we're just going to call it for tonight. Did you want to do another one, Flores? Uh, I might uh, start my own stream and play some games from first person view. Okay, well in that case I will probably just call it. So thank you all for watching the last couple hours and a bit of an odd different day fully live. Hope you enjoyed it and have a good night everyone. Flores? Oh, good night all and uh, thanks for watching, etc. See you uh, next Saturday and maybe on my stream. Yes, Flores XIV. Yeah, number 14. In Roman. Yeah. So, good night again.